All right, I got all my products ready today to start painting the bell, uh, bed on John Bell's truck. Got my cedar. Uh oh, somebody's at the door. Who is it? Well, look who it is, Kevin Tech. Come in here today to help me. Uh... I think you dropped that. Oh boy. <laughs> now I can't see. How <laughs> are you, man? Good. Glad to come by. Yeah, thanks. Kevin's going to come out today to give me some techniques and tips on uh, spraying high metallic like what's on John Bell's truck. Yes. Gay tips. That's what she said. Yeah, just don't screw up. That's no. all I was yeah, just don't mess it up. Yeah. No, it's, there's a recipe for metallics, and you have to you have to respect the metallic particles. You got to let them lay down and do what they want to do. Uh, where people get into trouble is by forcing them to stand on end, and that's what you're seeing when you see a metallic pattern that's splotchy or, or the inside of terms mottly. Um, if you see a mottled up panel, you haven't allowed that paint sit on the panel and do what it needs to do and relax. That's the best way I can put it. You've got to let your paint relax. And there's techniques to do that. There's chemicals to do that. And, uh, and we'll just talk about some of that. Okay. All right. Well, we're getting our sailor mixed up. We're fixing to shoot our sailor. And then we'll go in there and take the camera in there and let him show you some of the techniques on shooting his high metallic. That's what she said. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're in here to boot. It's pretty cold today. It's right. It's about 70 degrees right outside or so. So we've been forcing the heat all day. TC said, you can wait for as much as five days and take your time. If you're doing this a weekend at a time, heck, you could almost wait until the next weekend and do that. And, sorry. Bat in the cave. Thank you. 
Lock that metallic down. Explain to them about what you're taking. 
want to make sure and, and let that solvent evacuate. So by the time you're done, because I'm not doing this, <laughs> you're getting paid for this job. By the time you're done spraying the rest of the bed, the bed this should be ready for the second coat. So 